No kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. When I say, who's the master? You say, no, no. What is up, guys? Showing up the king here, back with another toy review, and today. I am bringing you the review for the Figure Reborn PR1 from Somebody Toys, Red Ranger Jason himself, or as they call him overseas, Tyrannosaurus Warrior. Man, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this, and I have it. You guys will be opening this up with me right along. I have not opened this up. I have no idea what to expect. So for all intents and purposes, this is going to be a blind live review and unboxing all right so i gotta tell you um i've been waiting for this for quite some time so i'm not gonna waste any more time so before i open it let's just take a quick look at the box as you can see here somebody toys figure reborn this is the front and here on the side we have the figure reborn as you can see here and on the back we have some static poses that he can get himself into. We have a warning label down here in some Japanese. And on the side, again, a little bit more of the same. All right, so, all right, it's gonna be a two-parter. I'm gonna do the live opening of this, and then I will be back to do the review. For you guys, it'll be a few seconds, but for me, it'll be a few hours. All right, so let's get started. Now, one thing I'll say from the beginning is I like the packaging. Even though this is a third party, they did, they did not spare any expense. It looks legit. And again, this is a nine inch figure. This is not a six inch figure. So when you guys will see in the actual review, you'll know that um, when I do the size comparisons, which is always my favorite part, uh, you'll notice that um, this does not fit the scale. So let's see here. Let's get this out of here. Put this to the side and whew, here we go. Another layer is down. I'm loving this power sword already. I'm telling you now, loving the power sword. And as you can see, they separate the weapons from the figure itself. So you can see that. All right, we're gonna start with the Red Warrior. Now again, this is my first, well, next to Mezco, it's the closest thing to a cloth toy. So I was a little nervous, but out of the packaging, Man, he he looks good. He looks good. And if I had to say the helmet is made of a die cast, almost like a die cast. I wouldn't say yeah, it looks like it's like a die cast metal or plastic to it. Uh the legs, the body itself is soft, but it it, it looks like it's very durable. I like it. I was worried because again, I was just worried that it would be like kind of like a soft plushy toy, but it's not like it has almost like memory elasticity to it. I like it so he can get into a lot of poses. I can tell you that now. Now, will he stand up on his own? That remains to be seen, but that's why he comes with a stand. So, all right. So I'll give you guys a close up of his belt, of his head. And again, you guys will see this in the review. So that's that. Get the sword out. And I like this, it's, the sword is itself, is in its own plastic. Very nice. Wow. That might be the best looking power sword that I've seen yet. Oh man. Yeah, look at this guys. 
This is one sexy power sword. And you can even see the Tyrannosaurus in here too. That's great. All right, let's look at the other accessories. So far, it's worth it. But again, we won't know until we get into the full review. And we have the separate blaster pieces that it comes with. We have it out and you can tell it says uh, Zoo Ranger here. So you can tell this is a Japanese version. So you have that. You have the Power Blaster in its blaster, blaster mode. And you have it in its Saber mode, which most people don't, you don't usually see. And this is what I was actually more excited about is because you usually don't see this. You don't usually see the uh, Power Blaster and figure in its Saber mode. So that is very, very nice. Very nice. All right. He also comes with hands, open stylized hands, and a claw, a movable claw for posing the base. And again, everything is well packaged. I, I have to, again, I have to give them credit for everything being so meticulously packed. I like it. it. Gives me confidence if I decide to get the other ones that they'll be in just as good a shape. And then finally you have the pole. Again, very well packaged. We'll deal with that later. All right, so here we are again. One final look before I do anything. Let's see if I can fit his power blaster in his pant, his little thing. And if it's, look at that. Mm. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. So this was the unboxing of the PR1 Figure Reborn Red Ranger, a.k.a. Red Warrior, a.k.a. Tyrannosaurus Ranger. Side shot, back, side, and front. All right. We will return for the full review. All right, guys, we are back with the review for the Zoo Ranger, AKA Red Warrior, AKA Tyranno Ranger, AKA Red Ranger. So what I decided to do this time around is do things a little bit different because there are so many details that I want you guys to pay attention to. I've decided to go hands-free and start with the accessories this time around. So before I do, and again, I have my handy three ranger comparison that we're going to do here so that we can show everybody the differences between the different rangers unfortunately i don't have an sh figure arts uh, red ranger but we do have the lightning collection red ranger we have the uh, legacy red ranger from the uh, last generation of power rangers that come with the power sword and of course we have the figure reborn red ranger looking great in the middle and you can already clearly see the differences between the three. So um, what I want to do first is look at the accessories up close and just kind of give you the comparisons between the three. So let's actually start with the accessories that come with the Red Ranger. All right. So first we have the Power Blaster. And as you can see here, it is the details on this thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, you can see the Zoo Ranger on both sides. And you can even, when you get close to it, you can kind of see the blacks, the reds, the white. It is an exact replication other than it just, you know, saying Zoo Ranger at the front. And then if I'm butchering the way you say Zoo Ranger, um, excuse me, but that's just kind of how I look at it. And again, it basically just says the same thing on the, on the same side, as you can see. So that's in its Power Blaster mode. We also have the same thing in its um, compact mode. This is when you kind of see it when it's in the pocket. And again, it's the same thing. But you got to like kind of turn it upside down to see it properly. And 
let's see. I'm trying to get make sure that the zooms in properly so you guys can see it. There it is. See? Same detail, same quality. It's it's just remarkable. And my favorite version of this, and again, this is what you won't see in any, like again, I've been collecting ranges for a while now and I have not seen a clean version of it in its full saber mode. And again, even the tip of this thing is remarkable. As you can see. And this is a good metal. It's not like die cast metal, but it's like a hard plastic. And again, it, it's it's pointy. Like it will point you. It it, it will stick you. It, it's it's that good. As you can see there. And then of course it comes with a pair of uh, fisted hands. And again, what I like about these fisted hands is that it does match what you would see on the show, where it's not like a solid white like you get on the other Rangers. It's kind of like that dirty white, kind of like gray just like you saw on the show. So he comes with a pair of fisted hands, a pair of like open hands, kind of like the stylized posed hands. And he comes with a pair of gripping hands for the blaster and the sword. Now the comparison that I wanted to kind of show you guys is let's start with the uh, lightning collection Red Ranger. So you see the detail in the sword of this lightning collection Red Ranger. It's very basic. You got the Tyrannosaurus uh, coin in the middle. You see that the there are no dots. There are no um, the little blue jewels. They're not on here. There's just solid red. And you can kind of see like they have a little bit of the gold trim, but not a lot of detail. So this is a lightning collection one. And again, it's still a good sword, but you can just tell this is a $20 something figure. Then you go to the Legacy Collection Red Ranger and you actually get a lot more detail. Now, here's another big difference, though. In this version, they just have the solid red hilt with the gold trim. And that is not show accurate. It's supposed to be uh, red down here at the bottom. Then this is supposed to be black with the gold trim. But at least this version does have the blue jewel in it and again it does have a more vibrant gold pattern to it and again this is the lightning not this is the uh, legacy the legacy collection red ranger and you can tell so this version actually has the uh accurate black hilt and the red tip but it's missing the gold jewels now this one he is actually the most screen accurate power sword that you're going to get because not only does it have the red the red tip at the bottom it has the black hilt with the gold pattern on it it also has the red tyranno uh coin in the middle and it also has the blue gems and the sword itself looks incredible i mean it's incredible look at that So that is the most screen accurate version that you're going to get right there. And that's just the, the power sword. Now I can also show you the blaster. Now this is a blaster from the lightning collection. And again, you can already tell that again, they did the best they could with a $20 figure, but it's very basic. You know, you have red and you have a tiny little bit of speck of white. You don't see any two other primary colors other than the red and the white. And this is the lightning collection one. And then we have, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh, it's, it's here. And then we have the closed version. And this is the Lightning Collection version. I'm sorry, not the Lightning Collection. This is the Legacy one, the seven inch, the seven inch one. And again, not a lot of detail, just two solid colors, red and white. And you really can't even tell what it is in its closed mode. And again, just for reference, this is the the real version. And that's how you can tell that this thing is no joke because you can just look at that and see it has the red, it has the white. You can even see the gold speck in the eye of the actual blaster. You can tell that this is a legit blaster versus the other ones. Incredible. And again, just for just for just to confirm again, look at the detail of this. It's 
it's fucking incredible. Excuse my language, but it's, it's night and day. One, two. Look at the difference, guys. Crazy. All right, so uh, I'm going to take a quick pause and then I'm going to come back and just look at the sword a little bit better. All right, so we're back. Just wanted to take one more look at the sword on both sides. And again, as you can see, it is spot on. And again, look at the details of the power coin of the dragon. I mean, the dinos, the Tyrannosaurus in the middle. It's, it's crazy. Both sides equally detailed. And again, I'll go up and down the sword so you can see it, the details. You can even see a little bit of black that they hinted on inside of the, the grooves of the sword itself. Crazy. It's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One other thing before we get into the uh, the ranger itself is I want you guys to take a look at the, uh, the, the, the morpher or the dino buckler. So you can see the dino buckler for him here. Again, you can see the name on the dino buckler again it has zoo ranger and then again i'm assuming that's it's that's supposed to say uh tyrannosaurus or whatever it's supposed to say and again this is a 3d dino buckler like you can tell it's not flat it's an actual piece it doesn't come off but you can tell it's like a 3d piece that comes out and again this one in the legacy collection is also a 3d version so this one is actually pretty close but again, you can look very closely and tell there's no writing on the inside at all. Nothing. And then again, as much as I love Lightning Collection, they did a not so great job because again, not only was it just a flat buck uh, morpher, but again, they also don't have any of the letters on it. And you can barely tell, even if you zoom in, you can barely tell that that's a dinosaur. Again, it doesn't really bother you when it's far away, but when it's close up like this, you can clearly tell. So for one more shot, look at that detail. And then look at that detail. And then look at that. Uh, not so much. And again, guys, I promise you, this is not me bashing the Lightning Collection Red Ranger. I'm just saying, like, when you have, like, I've never done a comparison like this before, so it's kind of hard to even see what you have. Like, so, like, this is, like, the, the short end of it before we get into the actual figure. Like, if you are looking for the most screen-accurate Ranger available, this is it. Like, I, I kid you not, like, this thing is 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 so screen-accurate. Right down to the feet. He even has black feet on the bottom like the real Red Ranger does on the show. Look it up. Look up. If you Google Red Ranger Power Rangers and you look at his feet, he has these black soles at the bottom of his feet, just like he does in this thing. Like, it's it's crazy. And the other pet peeve real quick that I know a lot of uh, fans of the Lightning Collection that they hate about the Lightning Collection is the helmet, how they don't have the white that goes all the way un underneath the helmet, and this has it. You can tell from that, you can tell from this right here, you can see he has the the white that goes right underneath. Whereas uh, this Ranger does not have it. It stops. As you can see, if it wants to zoom in, there it is. It stops. And then, of course, on the Lightning Collection Red Ranger, it also stops. So, again, screen accurate. Crazy. All right. So, those are the accessories. Those are the, the full comparison. Now it's time to get into the actual review of the Ranger itself and show you the articulation and then close out on my final thoughts. Right All right, guys, we are at the the tail end of the video. It's time to get into articulation and details. All right. So we showed you accessories. I've compared it to the other two Rangers. Now let's look at the articulation and see what this Ranger is actually made of. All right. 
let's get into it so one thing i didn't get to show you guys in the accessories portion is the actual stand it comes with it's a pretty basic stand um i wouldn't really say it's anything substantial you can just kind of see it's just a plain clear base and it comes with a uh well well packaged you know cylinder and then it comes with a, a hook to hold the ranger on and you can kind of tighten it with this little screw you just kind of use that and it can go up and down if you guys are used to uh sh figure i mean not sh figure arts um hot toys hot toys has a much better stand but it kind of has the same thing where you can kind of move it up and down and but it doesn't bend like the hot toys one so again it's it's a very basic stand so we have the ranger here and in all his glory and the what Let's talk about there. Are, there's, there's not a lot of negatives from what I from from my from my work through, but if I had to say one negative about this, and only and again, it's kind of a minor gripe, is that this figure does not stand up on its own very well. Like I messed with it for a couple of hours now, and I could kind of get it to stand up on its own, on his own, but he is really meant to be stand with this with, to be used with this stand. So which means if you lose this thing or if you don't have any sort of substitute or if it breaks, then it's going to be kind of tough to pose him on his own. And the reason why that is, is that because he has kind of like, and again, I don't know if it's mine or, but he has kind of like weak ankles. So it's kind of hard to pose him where he doesn't fall. Like if I hold his feet like this, he'll stand up straight. But then if I let it go again, he'll fall. And again, if you're a really good poser, I'm pretty sure you can get around that. And just kind of get him into some dynamic poses where if you like lean him forward again you can get him to stand up on his own but if you're putting him in, in display in a shelf or something like that it could easily fall at a moment's notice but again like you said he's standing right here and and he's not moving so again if you want to put him in like a static standing pose you can do that but if you want to put him in any sort of dynamic pose you're going to need to stand for it which is fine so let's look at the head the head itself is, uh, I want to say this is die cast. Like, I'm not 100% familiar with die cast. I've only had it on, like, um, my uh, Iron Man. But it feels like die cast. It feels like it's not just, like, cheap plastic. But it, it, it's probably more of a die cast metal. And you can kind of see the shiny uh, bits and detail. And, again, just looking at the helmet in and of itself, it is amazing. Like, you can see the sculpt to detail, the attention to detail. It's all there. Like, I've shown you guys the uh, Legacy version, and you can see them two next to each other. And again, it's a, just a different shade of red. And this is just a, such an accurate version of red. And even from the front, you can just tell. You can tell, man. It's like they, they did not hold any expenses in making sure that these figures, this guy didn't look alike. And again, just for a close reference, Again, here is the Lightning Collection Red Ranger, which is not a bad figure, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I don't want you guys thinking I'm bashing Lightning Collection, but again, I'm just so impressed by the detail in this thing that it's, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely bonkers. Just look at the detail in the eye alone. You can see the black outline in the eye, and it's not here in the Lightning Collection. Again, I just, I didn't even notice that. There's no black line at all, and there is in this helmet. Look at that. I'm just noticing more and more every time I look at it. And again, same thing with this one. There is no black outliner in the actual helmet. So you can see the outline of the black in the eye, and it goes around the top of the head. But neither one of these other Red Rangers have it. Crazy. It's crazy. Like, I am convinced that this is probably the most screen-accurate Ranger that you could ever get. Unfortunately, it's in a 9-inch scale. Like, again, it doesn't bother me because it looks so good. But honestly, this is... This thing is amazing. All right, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done gushing. Let's, let's, let's get into the articulation. All right, so the figure itself is made of a hard, soft plastic. As you can see, I can push it in. It feels like a real chest, though. The only thing that I can kind of compare it to would be a uh, Mezco. So you see how this Mezco Cyclops is? 
and he has soft goods. But in this Mezco Cyclops, his chest is just like a hard plastic. Like you can't push it in at all. But even though he's wearing actual clothes, where this one, you can push in his chest, but it's still hard. It, it actually feels like a real chest, like with muscle underneath. Same thing with the arm. You can push it in, but you can also feel like an exoskeleton underneath it. It's like a hard metal underneath it. It's almost like a, a realistic Barbie mold, almost. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. So articulation. So his arm can go out this far. So you can do T-spreads. It can rotate up and all the way out like so. And then it can go down. He can do the motion arm. And again, it can go out around and down. You just have to be very careful with it. The legs can go up. The legs can go out. You can do some sort of splitsville, but you got to be careful because again, these are soft goods. The knees, they do bend. And again, that's that another weak knees I was telling you about. I said weak knees, uh, weak, weak ankles. So you can kind of see the ankles are weak. So that's the, again, that's the only minor gripe. It's just, he has weak ankles. The head can do a full 360. He can look up a little bit, not a lot. He can't look up at all. Really? Actually, he can't look up. So he can look, he can't really look up, but he can look down. And again, like I said, side to side, but looking up isn't that big of a deal because he does have um, pivot in the, um, in the waist. So he can look, he can look down and stay. And he can also look up. Like so. So if you need him to kind of look up, he can. And again, like I said, I can't tell again, this thing doesn't come with manual, so his head could potentially be removed, but I'm not doing it. So, <laughs> so that's, that's that. And again, the hands pop off very easily and you can kind of see the piece on the inside that it fits on like that. Same thing here. Arms come off and go back on all right so let's talk about this body so this is a and again be i've never thought about looking at rangers in this way before but i actually love the soft goods like if mezco ever came out with a power ranger line it would kind of be like this and i like it like i like it like i didn't think i was gonna like the soft goods but if you go back to the show, it looks accurate. It, it really does. Like the red pops. It uh, And again, look at, and again, not a disc to Lightning Collection. But again, you can just tell the difference between, if you watch the show, the soft goods is definitely the way that you want to go. It, ju it just is. And in the neck, again, it's also soft goods as well. And it even goes underneath. You can see here, the fabric goes all the way up at the top of the neck. And again, I'll give you guys a close up and you can kind of see it's kind of like shimmering just like on the show. And you can even see the stitching is well done. And you can get stitching on the side here as well. And you got it on the arm. Again, and you guys might hear my kids upstairs. They're singing Frozen or whatever. Some crazy shit, you know. I told y'all before. Can't control these kids. And again, you can see, again, the black souls. Again, I bet you not a lot of people notice that in the show, he has black souls. And they actually recreated it in the actual thing. And again, you can see the stitching down here. Uh, you can also see the holder is made of a soft material as well. 
and let me grab this. The blaster fits perfectly. And the closed, the closed one fits as well. Perfectly. I mean, guys, whew, this, this thing is incredible. Like, all right, final verdict. If you can get your hands on this thing, buy it. It is definitely worth it. Again, it won't scale well with your other Rangers, but the company does plan on coming out with the rest of the Rangers and I will get them. Now, the big question that everyone wants to ask, how much and where did I get this from? So, here's the thing. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I bought this on eBay and I paid more than what it retailed for. I won't tell you exactly how much I paid for, but it I paid more. If you if I bought okay, look, so I bought this on eBay for 99 bucks. Now, some of the websites that I found him on had him between uh 50 and 70 dollars, and then you had to pay for shipping. So shipping I paid an additional 20. So on average, I probably paid maybe $20 to $30 more than what it retails at. And again, for me, it's not that big a deal because again, I knew I was able, I wanted to be able to get this to you guys so you can so you can make an informed decision. And again, that's what the whole review was for. I wanted to make sure that if anybody went out and bought it, they could get it and they would know that it works. Now, I got this off of eBay. The guy that I got it off of eBay, he still has them available. And I will link uh, the eBay, I will link the actual eBay listing in this review. So if you want to buy the same way that I bought it, it took seven days to get it. I ordered this thing last Sunday and it is Martin Luther King's uh, birthday today. So it's Monday. So it, it took literally took a week to get to me from, from Hong Kong. So it the shipping was fast. The guy was reliable. And again, to me, the, the price was fair. So I will link that guy's uh, eBay in the link description below. Now, um, also, there was a Facebook group that had this. And again, I put that in the post and I also put in the link description below where you can probably buy it for retail. And again, the, the problem with that is, is that it's, um, I think it's either in, I think the, the website is in um, from Taiwan or it might be from uh, Korea. I can't remember, but you could potentially try to buy it from them as well. But again, I can't vouch for them because I haven't physically bought it from them. So feel free to reach out to them as well. And again, I will put all that information in the link below. Uh, one last thing. There is also another toy company out there doing another set of Rangers and it's from Ace Toys and they are doing 12 inch Power Rangers, and they also have White Ranger and Green Ranger. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee you on that one because those figures are expensive as hell. And to be honest with you, um, I'm not really into 12 inch at 12 inch figures. I think nine inches is about as God, it just doesn't sound right. Nine inch action figures are probably as tall as I'm gonna get. I don't think I'm going to be interested in 12 inch figures, but I have to admit that they look amazing. And again, it's from Ace Toys and it's their version of Power Rangers. Um, you can find them on um, Facebook and you can also find them. Um, and, and again, like I said, I'll, I'll probably link that in the description below as well. So you guys can check that out because they're already taking pre-orders for them. But I think for the set of the five Rangers is like 600 bucks, but it comes with 12 inch all the Rangers, 12 inches, they each come with their weapons and they actually come with the uh, Power Blaster all combined as a separate piece that you can kind of pose them with. So it is amazing. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more photos, definitely make sure you follow my Mag Nerd Podcast Instagram page. That's where I'll be posting up more photos throughout the week. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, just ask me in the comment section below. If you want to see me do another review, if I missed something, let me know in the comment section. And more importantly, 
If you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and I'll be able to bring you guys more exclusive content like this. Because if I'm not mistaken, I am the first person to do a review for this figure in English. I do know like maybe a week or so ago, there, there, um, and another, another language version of review went up, but I am the first reviewer to do this in English. So I appreciate you guys. Have a great one.